What's up everyone? It's Sydney and this is day number 25 of your shred program, your 30 minutes arms and abs hit workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. What's up everyone? I'm so excited that you're here for our arms and abs workout. This is going to be 30 minutes of good strong work focusing on strength for your biceps, triceps, chest and back muscles, okay? And then of course we're gonna intertwine abs throughout. So you'll see us operating in 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, and then after every muscle group, we'll have two minutes of core, then we'll go to a new muscle group for your upper body, two minutes of core, and that'll be our format throughout, okay? So make sure you have your water and your sweat towel. As for your dumbbells, we're gonna go anywhere from probably eight to 10 pound dumbbells up to your 30. The heaviest move that you'll do is a chest press or a kneeling bent row. Lightest move that you'll do will be maybe a bicep curl or probably more so tricep kickbacks will be your lightest one, okay? So let's jump right into the warm up. We're almost done with the shred program, so make this workout count, okay? Arms over your chest in three, two, one, let's go. Good, thumbs open to the sky. Great job, get your focus here. Think strong, strong, strong. Great job, let's take your arms past your hips, up and back. Stretching out lats, triceps, shoulders. Good, you should feel it in the back of your arms and shoulders. Three, two, one, good. Let's take just your left arm, backward circles. I do have my bench out here today. We have a round of dips. So if you have your bench out or something like that, switch directions, you can pull it out as well. Good, now take this one arm, cross your body. Big cross, big open. Let your torso twist with it. There you go. You should feel your abs rotating. Two, one. All right, right arm, big backward circles. Great job. We're starting off with a chest circuit today. And switch directions. Three, two, one. Good, big cross and open. Twist the torso. That's it, just a little exaggeration. Two, one, all right. Come on down to a plank position. Okay, we're gonna rotate back and forth. Hips go down and then up. Last one, leave them up. Good, and slowly walk back to your toes. We're gonna start it off with a push-up toe tap for your first move, okay? No modifications up there today. The only mod will be drop to your knees here, okay? So you have one push-up, okay? When you come out of your push-up, you're gonna go back and tap your shin or your toe. Push-up, tap the other one, okay? So let's go together in five seconds. Go to your knees if you need to. Three, two, one, let's go. 30 seconds, right here, and this incorporates your arms and your core. Okay, so that's why we've got it first. Seven. Three, two, one, and rest for 15. Good job, we'll go one more time there, okay? Then we'll move to your chest circuit. So yes, this is kind of chest, but we'll move into chest isolation, I should say. Round number two, let's make it count. Two, one, here we go, 30 seconds. Keep moving, tight core, tight legs. Good, eight, seven. Two, one, 
Rest, beautiful job. And we go now into chest press. So this is another example of an exercise you can do with your bench, okay? We're gonna superset chest press, chest fly. So heavier weight and lighter weight. Three rounds of each one. Okay, I'm gonna start with my 25s for the press. And we'll go in eight seconds. Okay, you'll have 15 seconds rest in between. Here we go. Three, two, one, come on. Good job. So just about four minutes straight of chest here with this and our chest fly. Three rounds of 30 each one. You've got 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, 15 seconds rest and chest fly. I'm gonna go for my 10 pound dumbbells. Okay, nice long arms, good extension here. Keep your elbows just a little bit rounded. Shoulder blades together, let's go. Great job, feel the chest, stretch, and then pull like you're trying to get your elbows back towards each other. Eight, seven, three, two, one. That's it, and you've got two more rounds of those two exercises. Okay, press up and wait if you can. Stay here if you need to, and maybe round three you can go up. That's what I'm gonna do too. All right, good reps, let's go. Three, two, one, come on. Last eight seconds. Two, one, rest, good. Whew. Chest fly, if you wanna go up, let's go up. I'm gonna go to my 15s. Keep remembering, your best is the best. Three, two, one, let's go. Rounded arms, squeeze like you're trying to get your elbows back together. And like you're trying to squeeze a pencil right in the middle of your chest. Good work. Meet right over your sternum, which is that kind of soft or flat bone in the middle of your chest. Two, one, rest. Good. Whew. Last round. Chest press. Show me what you got. Show yourself what you've got. I'm gonna go up one weight to my 30s. Two, one, let's go. Keep moving, 15 seconds, come on. Last round of chest, press. <laughs> come on, seven. And rest. Good job, chest fly, last round, and this is actually the last round of chest. <laughs> then we'll go into two minutes of your abs, which for this case is sit-ups. Three, two, one, come on, let's fly. And then drive the pinkies back together. Great job, you've got 12, 11. Four, three, two, one, and beautiful job. Done with the chest. Whew. All right, move your bench out of the way. If you were using a bench, you've just got two minutes straight of course. So the arms are hit style today. 
abs are a little more burn endurance. So we'll start in 13 seconds. You can do weighted sit-ups, you can do regular sit-ups, you can do butterfly sit-ups, you can do weight assisted sit-ups. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Two minutes straight. Maybe set a goal for yourself. Count your reps in minute one. Try to meet that same number in minute two. First 30 seconds done. Make it tougher by holding a dumbbell, physically touching your chest or your shoulders. Okay, you can also open your arms up, lock your biceps beside your ears. First minute, done. Let's go, step it up if you can. Keep going, keep going. Thirty more seconds, let's go. Good. Fifteen, breathe, let's go. Don't stop for 10. Five, three, two, one, and rest. Beautiful job. And grab some water. We're moving on to your triceps. We've got dips, tricep overhead extensions. Okay, if you don't wanna do dips, you can do tricep kickbacks. I'll give you that option, okay? So, that was my bench or not option. So if you have a bench, let's do dips. If you don't have a bench, light dumbbells, tricep kickbacks, okay? We're gonna start with that one. Superset it with tricep overhead extensions. All right, five seconds. Dips or kickbacks? Three, two, one, let's go. If you're doing dips, 90 degrees with your elbows, the more your feet are under you, the easier this will be because you're taking some weight off of your arms. So further out is fine, but keep your body going straight down. Nine, eight. Two, one, rest, good. Now you can do your overhead extensions laying flat like a skull crusher or standing. I'm gonna do mine standing today, okay? So everyone's gonna do the overhead extension in three, two, one, let's go. And I'm using my 25 here. So something in your more challenging weight class, hopefully up into where you were with the chest press. Good job. Feel that good stretch. 10 more seconds. Four, three, good job. Two, one, rest. Same thing, two more rounds. So kickbacks or dips and tricep overhead extension. You're doing great. I'm gonna keep you moving, keep your arms working. Four, three, two, one, come on. Six, five, three, 
two, one, rest. Whew. Overhead extensions, laying flat or standing. Whew. Seven, good job, shake your arms out. Whew. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Keep your core tight. You're gonna notice your core has to work so that you don't end up here. Nine. Seven. Three, two, one, rest. And you've got one more round. Dips or kickbacks. Ready? Six. Come on, you're doing great. Four, three, two, and here we go. Good job, you've got 15 more seconds. Seven. Three. And rest. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna drop down a weight. I felt my form sacrificing on the last one. So I'm gonna drop down, make sure my form is good. Keep that as a priority. Four, two, one. Let's get it. 30 more seconds of triceps, and you're done with triceps. <laughs> Great job, 15. Come on, six, five, three, two, one, rest. Good job. And your next two minutes of abs are gonna be for your lower abs, I guess technically, but not literally. You can't just isolate your abs upper and lower. So it's gonna be leg raises, okay? You've got options, I'm gonna show you all three options. Option one, take it down, one at a time. Down, up. Okay, this is the most approachable. Second, two legs. Okay, third option, take it down, open, close, and lift back up. We go together in 10 seconds, pick which one you want, or start out with the one you feel is the most challenging, and then when you have to modify, know your options, okay? Three, two, one, two minutes on the clock. Let's go. Good way to help you stay flat in your tailbone is just to add a little crunch here. So if your hands are here, add a little crunch, getting your shoulder blades off the floor. and only go as low as you can control. So if you get here and you start to feel this really heavy, don't go that low. You need to go right here where you feel your abs working hard to keep your tailbone back. Then you lift again. Do not go any lower just to say you went all the way down. 45 seconds done. First minute, done, let's go. Last minute here. Keep going, 45 seconds. seconds let's go let's go keep that tailbone rolled back belly button reaches for the bench or the floor eight seven come on four three 
two, one, and rest. Beautiful job. And we're moving on to some back. Okay, you've got two back exercises and a core for two minutes. Same thing with biceps, okay? So we do bent rows and back flies. The bent rows, I want you on all fours so I can support your back right here. Okay, we'll go in seven seconds. I'm starting with 25s. Ready? Two, one, let's go. Pull and replace. And I'd rather you start out with the weight that you know you can execute properly for 30 seconds versus one that's too heavy and you can't really feel it in your back. I don't want you to just get it up there. I want you to feel this in your back. Seven. Two, one, rest. Now I'm gonna grab my tens, okay? Hinging forward, right here. Ready, four, three, two, one. Let's go, drive. Good job, so alternating first round of both exercises. Round two, all about the right arm for both. Round three, all about the left arm for both. Eight, seven, three, two, one. Great job. Now, just rowing with the right arm, okay? Right arm only. So put the other hand up, prop it up here, right here. Four, three, two, one, come on right side, big pull, down. Notice my shoulder never goes up to my ear. I go backwards, shoulder blade towards the other one. Good job, you've got 10, nine. Come on, come on, three, two, one, rest. Okay, right arm back fly. And if you feel okay with it, you can stay here. Take it here from your shin back. Okay, that's an option. Or just take it right up here. All right, totally up to you. Let's go. 30 seconds. Okay, if you're going here, it's the same kind of thing. All you think about is your shoulder blade. It's going backwards toward the middle. Great job, 10. That's it, three, two, one. All right, let's go left arm, it's your turn. Left side, rows and back flies, and then we go into the next ab exercise. I'll tell you when we get there. Two, one, left arm, let's get it. Now this is 30 seconds, so your level of intensity is up there. You're moving challenging weights, or you're moving the weights that you have with precision, with your best execution, and with power. Come on, 15. Five, four. Two, one, good. And left arm. Back fly. Here we go. Six, five. Two, one, let's go. Back, 30 seconds here. I think constantly about my elbow, trying to reach back for the middle of my spine. Stay here. Come on, you've got just about 10 seconds left. Squeeze back. Five, give me two more. Two, one, rest, and in 15 seconds you're going to a plank, high plank. I'm gonna have you move around, but we start right here. In six, five, come on up. 
three, two, come on, right into it, let's go. Good job, right here, stay, stay, stay. Trust me, we're gonna do this together, okay? Good, relax. Good job. Eight seconds, you're gonna give me your left hand and you're gonna fall onto the sides of your feet. In three, two, one, right here. Good job, open up your hips and your chest. Stay here, switch it over in five, four, three, two, one. You can just roll right over. Good job, stay, stay, stay. Ten seconds, dropping to your elbows in nine, eight, seven, six, two elbows, four, three, right here, two, one, come on, down here, now pull your ribs and your belly button in like they're reaching for your spine, flex your quads, flex your glutes, and treat your heels like they're trying to push away from your head, your body's trying to get nice and long and tight and firm, good, take your hips left, and right, left, and right, keep them low, left, Right. Keep that going. 15 more seconds. Go left. Go right. Come on, keep it flat. Seven, six, right here. Hold five. Hold four, three, two, one, and rest. We're going into hammer curls. Whew. Let's go, 10 seconds. I'm gonna start with my 20s. You've got hammer curls. Are you ready? Okay, 25s. <laughs> Let's go. Hammer right here. 30 seconds. Great work, you're doing fantastic. 14 more seconds. We'll breathe for 15 and then we'll lighten it up a little bit and go curl pulses. Two, one, and rest. Going down to my tens. Little hinge right here. Okay, we go in four, three, join me. Two, one, come on. There you go, keeping the elbows bent. You're just opening a tiny bit. Closing more, so you're not really ever releasing. Good job, 15, go curl, 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 curl. Stay here. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest in 15 seconds. We're back to the hammer curls. Good work. Seven, six, three, two, one, let's go. We're alternating because I want you to go heavy here. I think it's also easier to focus on one hammer curl at a time. You're going pretty heavy. 15. Nine. Come on, stay with me. Five, four, two, one, rest. And you're going into your curl pulses. Woo. All right, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on, pulse it out right here. Go curl, 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 curl. Good job. 15 seconds. After this, you're going right into hammer curls and then right into pulses. No more resting after this. And that's your workout. Six, 
five, hammer curls, four, three, two, one, let's go. No more resting. Let's go, burn it out. Fifteen seconds. Seven. Four. Get ready to pulse. Three, two, one. Pulse it out for 30 and you've made it. Right here. Go curl. Pull your palms back towards your biceps and make sure they're not flailing here. They're pulling. Oh boy. Good, curl them in. 15 seconds, do not stop. Don't do it as much as you want to. Don't. Seven. Three, two, one, and drop your dumbbells down. You have made it to your cool down. Come on down to your hands and knees. Be careful. Great work. All right, let's go onto your knees first. I want you just to stretch your forearms. So take your fingertips, put them on the floor, place your palms slowly onto the floor, and then bend back. Either bend your elbows or just kind of slant your weight backwards away from your wrist. And you've made it. We have one more workout in the shred program. One more, can you believe it? Also, one more workout in this physical space. You will see the stage again. We're going to bring it over to our new studio, but one more workout in the place where it all started. So this is very bittersweet. Flip your hands over. It's the place where we built our very first stage. If you've ever done a workout on the white, all white set, Dustin and I built that by hand when kind of figuring out how to channel what we felt was our passion and our purpose after losing my brother. I think that building of the stage and of this place was truly us channeling our mission to leave a legacy and to make sure that our passions were fulfilled. All right, come on up. So, cross your arm over your chest. I'm sure you all have situations or places or things like that where there's just a lot of memories. There's a lot of reason that you're here. There's so much growth that's happened in this studio. There's been so many failures and so many times for resilience and overcoming just tough times in general financially, whether it's just being really tired, just feeling like what can we do to help more people, switch arms. So it's been, it's been quite a journey. I wouldn't have had it any other way because I truly believe that everything we went through, we grew from, we learned from, and I always try to preach that to you. I try to resemble that for you. The resilience, a living example of resilience, I think is showing when things aren't all going right. Showing when they are and celebrating that, but also showing that you've gone through some things to get to where you are. Hands up overhead, pull your wrist over. And I know you can relate, I know you've gone through some things to be here today, whether it's in the workout or just be here today in life. I know you've gone through some things and I know that you're not the only one. I think that's the most comforting thing about our journeys is that we're not alone in overcoming. We're not alone in dealing or managing or just trying to figure out how to pull through. And in some degree, in some way, we're all constantly trying to figure out how do I keep going, right? So just knowing I'm here with you each day, I hope that helps you on the days where you don't wanna show up, on the days where it seems a lot harder than others. I try to be as transparent as possible and, and letting you know that I feel that too but I know that you're there and I know that we can. Okay, I know sometimes you just need to be reminded of your worth and so I always try to do that here in the workouts. It's never for me about what you physically look like. I hope that in the way that you live, you achieve the goals that you have for yourself, whatever those are, as long as they're healthy. But for me, it's about the way you live and the person that you are and the strength that you develop here on the mat, mainly, and in the way that carries over into who you are as a person. So always know that's my whole mission for you. First it's happy, and then it's healthy, and it's strong. I want you to be all three of those. That's my main mission for you. I think your goals will come to life in the way that you live as long as you keep those three things a priority. Okay, aim to be stronger in the workouts and in the way that you think about yourself, in the way that you approach life. Aim to be healthy in the way that you dedicate yourself 
some time in the day, the way that you feed your body, the way that you hydrate and sleep and take care of your mental health. And that also rolls into our main goal for you, which is happy. Make sure you're enjoying the journey by taking care of your mental health, by working so hard here that you feel confident enough to do the things that make you happy, like painting or hiking or being around people or going out to the water or whatever it might be, creating in any way, diving into a pastime or a hobby that you haven't for a while because you've put yourself on a back burner. I want those things for you. So always remember that. If you can come back to this message, you deserve all of that. You deserve happy. You deserve healthy. You deserve strong. You are strong. So let's keep living in a way that says, I care about how I treat my body, how I talk to my body, how strong I am here and outside of the workout. And all of this together will prove to give me a healthy and happy life. Okay, I believe in you with my whole heart and I want you to keep coming here, keep showing up here so you can show yourself what you're capable of when you continue to believe and prioritize yourself. Okay, so I will see you up here tomorrow for our last workout of Shred, last workout in this physical building. Bittersweet, but I am so proud and so thankful and just overall full of gratitude for you and this journey. And good news, we're still on the journey together. You're stuck with me for as long as you'll have me. So make sure before you head out to subscribe to the channel and like the video if you finished it, and then comment below what you're proud of yourself today. I will see you back here tomorrow.